Hey, my name is James Nicholson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to summarise leaseholds. Are they going to be abolished in 2024? So much has happened in 2023. There's been some really positive movement. We've had the King's Speech. Then we've had multiple readings of the leasehold reform bill in Parliament. And it's moving along really, really well so far. So what? happening. We're going to cover that in this video. Do I think it will be completed by 2024? That's the big question because a lot of people that watch videos like this have a leasehold. You're considering should you extend now or should you wait? Well, let's talk about what's going on in this video. As always, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. We've got new content every single day and this is the place where you're going to find all of that leasehold information as soon as it comes out. And if you could do me a favour, I want to get more views on this content. So smash the like button, tickle the like button, do something to the like button, guys. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. We've had 2 million views on the channel this year, all down to people like you doing that one thing, pressing that like button. So leasehold reform, it's something that has been really frustrating for a lot of people. And leaseholds are just seen as an unfair Thing. And other countries don't have it. We're one of the only countries that has this type of system in place. So a leasehold is effectively where you own a property for a period of time. Now, normally that's like 100 years. But as that gets lower, that period of time, it can get hard to get a mortgage. In fact, even a few years ago, it was almost impossible to get a mortgage, and that meant that you needed to extend. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is he talking about? Does he mean when that lease goes down to 15 or 20 years? Well, no, it's actually when the lease drops below 80 years, which is crazy, because when you own the property, it's unlikely, because you'll have bought it as an adult, that you'd live 80 more years. But it's still a concern for the banks, and so the banks want the, the, the banks actually want the lease to be longer than 80 years. Now, if it drops below 80 years <coughs> because you didn't know about it, then it can get very expensive uh, to extend the lease. You have something called marriage value. And so marriage value, oh, marriage value is when, let's just say the property is worth 100 grand with a long lease. But with a short lease, it's only worth 70, right? So you've got 100K with a long lease, 70K with a short lease. That means if you extend the lease, then you get 30 grand in value improvement. So how marriage value works, if your lease is less than 80 years, if you want to extend the lease, how they calculate the cost is, they say, well, if you extend the lease, the value is going to go up by 30 grand and a surveyor would have looked at this. So you're going to be charged as the leaseholder half of that money, half of that money. And so that means it's going to cost you 15 grand to extend that lease. And this comes as a massive surprise to a lot of people. They just didn't know how this worked. It's not explained by your solicitor. Very rarely is it explained by your solicitor when you buy the property. And this marriage value is one thing in the Leasehold Reform Act they're looking to get rid of or improve. Now, everyone was hoping this, this would just be totally gone. It's not looking like it's totally gone, but it is looking like, if you look at the example, I'm going to link to a blog post below here uh, that I've done. It shows the government's example where it's going to cost about half the price. So rather than 15 grand to extend, it will cost around seven. So that's very, very good. Now, extending a lease at the moment, the maximum amount of years that you can really get added on is 90 years. So that means that your kids could get down to that problematic 80 years again, potentially, um, or their kids, uh, if they inherit that from you. And so it's something that's just going to keep cropping up. The new legislation is saying that this won't be 90 years anymore. When you extend the lease, you'll extend it by 990 years, meaning it's sorted pretty much forever. That almost brings it up in line with a freehold property. It's going to be way more attractive uh, to have that. Now, ground rent. 
This is a big problem. Uh, and this is one reason why we've got this act as well. Ground rent is, for some people, very expensive. I've seen videos where I've got comments on there where some of you are paying up to five grand a year in ground rent. That's just free money for the freeholder. And so that isn't good. Uh, and so if you extend your lease, this is this part has already happened. If you do a lease extension, the ground rent gets abolished, which is very, very good. So that's what we want to see. Next, the title of the video is, is leaseholds going to be abolished? Well, yes, it's looking likely. It hasn't been in any of the two readings of the bill so far, but pretty much everyone thinks this is going to be brought into this. It was discussed initially. And that is that no new freehold houses will be allowed to be built. Um, in fact, a lot of builders have already self-regulated on this. Historically, four or five years ago, it was around 15% of new build houses were free, uh, leasehold. Now that's dropped to 1%. Uh, but eventually, it's going to be that you cannot buy a brand new leasehold house. Existing leasehold houses, unfortunately, will still stay as a leasehold property. But that is part of being abolished. Uh, and that's a good move. And that's something that we do want to see. Next is service charge. This one is probably the most common gripe that you guys have in the comments. Service charges are an absolute yeah, you know what I mean, right? Service charges aren't great. There's not much transparency. In fact, what was one of the most interesting comments that I saw uh, on these leasehold videos that I've done was someone that worked for a um, managing agent and were quite open and said, the managing agent is often taking 30%, 30% of all the service charges just as their fees. Any work that's done, they're whacking on 30% and making really, really good money uh, from these service charges. That won't happen going forward, or it could, but there's got to be more transparency. They've got to share with you what are they spending on. If you see that they're charging 30% and you're not happy with that, you have the right to self-manage. If you can get the other leaseholders to agree or you can kick them out and get a cheaper managing agent. So service charges are going to be more transparent. One of the other things that uh, is similar to that is insurance. Uh, and so they don't have an incentive to find you the cheapest insurance. What they do is they get the, ins uh, the insurance that gives them the biggest commission. Uh, and that person that posted anonymously on here was saying some big blocks, they were managing 300 properties in one block. They were taking 65 grand in commission just for getting the insurance, which is not really a lot of work. Uh, to set the insurance up, right? It's probably the same company every year that they're going back to as well. So service charges, insurance, this stuff is going to have more transparency. Uh, that's going to be very, very good uh, as well. Um, that's pretty much it. So do I think this is going to go through in 24? That's the main question of this video title. I think it will. I think it's likely to go through by around May. What was interesting is we had the King's Speech uh, a couple of months ago. Now we've already had two readings of this. This is moving through Parliament very, very quickly. Why is that? Well, the Conservatives are behind. They're chasing their tail. They've got to call a general election next year, and they want to have everything that they can do in order to give them a shot at staying in power. This is one of the key policies that they feel will help them to get leases in a better position. Labour have said if they get in power, they will abolish leases. I can't see that happening. It will be really difficult. This is more likely to happen. So I think that by May, that you'll see this coming to a conclusion. Um, if you are renewing a lease and you, or you need to re renew a lease right now, what could you do? Well, you can arm yourself with this information. Check the blog that I post below and if you must extend, say to the freeholder, look, this is what's going to happen. I could just wait and then this is the money you're going to get. Or we can just agree today to do the same because they can agree to extend it to 990 years. They've got to abolish the ground rent. They've got to be the transparency on service charge. You can't really alter for now. But the extension, you can agree a lower price 
if they're what the, most of them will want the money if they know look hey i can have seven grand today or wait till this legislation goes through and potentially labor get power and it's even worse for them i think some of them will take that seven grand so get the information present it to the freeholder and you should be able to get a very good deal Last thing on this, while you're here, make sure you do share this content with, you know, uh, lots of leaseholders, I'm sure. Uh, do comment below, let me know your thoughts. Smash that like button, guys, that really helps us. Go and check out some more content on the channel. Why don't you go and watch this video right here?